serious. Comet Ison's on its way, but there's some spectacular signs in the heavens being seen right now. I want to thank Reverend Gary of Kentucky for getting this to me. I'm going to show you some pictures of a beautiful aurora, as well as uh, some of the other signs in the sky that is quite amazing that took place yesterday. Uh, the Bible says in Luke 21, 25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, and men's hearts failing them for fear of and looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. Oh, yes, he's coming. Yes, he's coming. Well, uh, active sunspot, H.R. 1865, a slow-moving CME into space. On October the 16th, that happened yesterday, the cloud appears set to deliver a glancing blow to the Earth's magnetic field coming up this October 20th. We're going to feel these CMEs. Odds of a geomagnetic storm, however, are low because the CME is relatively low mass and velocity. Uh, but there was a man sitting in an airplane. His name was David Mayhew. He was traveling from Denver, Colorado to Iceland. Now, he was traveling. <laughs> What's amazing is the night before, Iceland had had 80 earthquakes. Now, they weren't real big. They were averaged between 1.3 and 4.8 on the Richter scale. But still, 80 earthquakes in Iceland? What? But while he was traveling, he sat by the window. He looked out the window and this is the picture he took of an aurora. Are you serious? Are you serious? See that he was sitting there just behind the wing of the plane, and he takes a he uses his camera, a, a Canon 700 digital camera, and look at that aurora. Are you serious? That is spectacular sign in the heavens, and God so shows his beauty. As he's flying, I could imagine how David felt looking out the window at the glory of God. I mean, that is the glory of God. That is the glory of God. Are you serious? Are you serious? Wow. Um, and then um, he said that he uh, he said he was in the took took the picture. He said we were somewhere over the Hudson Bay says David Mayhew, uh, I, I rested the lens against the window and I held a blanket over my head to reduce the reflections and I got plenty of odd looks from the other passengers. But the NOAA forecasters estimated a 20% chance of a polar geomagnetic storm uh, on October the 17th. That's today. This means there's at least a 1 in 5 chance today of a good view for Arctic uh, flyers. So choose the window seat if you're headed up around Iceland tonight. Also, there's been a colorful conjunction. Uh, if you woke up this morning at 5 a.m., if you go outside and face the east at about halfway up to the sky, the red planet Mars and the blue star Regulus are side by side forming the first magnitude double star in the pre-dawn sky in the east. David Marshall, another photographer, the colorful duo in the morning of October the 16th, he took this picture from Christ Church Barbados. <laughs> this guy's in Christ Church Barbados and he's taking a picture of a signs in the heavens. Signs in the, in the stars. Beautiful thing. Let me show you that picture that he took. He Also, he says, look carefully to the left of Mars. 
and you will see a trio. You will also see Comet Ison. It's there too. Comet Ison, Mars, and Regulus are quite a photogenic threesome, and they were vis visible. Uh, uh, yesterday morning around 5 a.m. October the 16th as David Marshall took this picture from Christ Church Barbados. I just, I'm just, I just love this story. Here, I'm going to show you the picture right now and I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to do a, a real Paul Begley prophecy moment, uh, Paul Begley technology moment. How's that? Here's the picture. Now you can see the blue star. That's Regulus. And you can see the red planet, that is Mars. Directly across from Mars, you will be able to see it in the distance, but it's starting to make its way. There it is, the comet Ison. It's coming. Again, it will rise in the east. And this picture was taken at about 5, just before 5 a.m. In, in the eastern sky above where the sun would rise on October the 16th. It was taken with a very powerful uh, camera lens, telescope lens, actually. But there you see it. The star Regulus, which is way up, up there at the top, the blue one right there. That is the, the blue star Regulus. That is Mars. That is Ison. Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ.